Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Baruch College and to the Mark School of Public and International Affairs. My name is David Birdsell. I'm the dean of the, uh, of the Mark School. Uh, and it's my delight today to welcome uh, back to Baruch College Dr. Guillermo Linares, uh, who is currently serving as president of the Higher Education Services Corporation. We're here today, of course, to talk about predominantly uh, the Excelsior Scholarships. The governor uh, announced this year this very bold program for a scholarship that will make uh, uh, college attendance uh, free for New York families uh, making $125,000 a year and under in the third year of the program, and we've got a two-year glide path going into that larger number. Um, could you, in a nutshell, outline what Excelsior does and how the administration expects that to change the character of college access in New York. Yeah. Uh, the governor, governor Cuomo and the state legislature enacted uh, this year uh, at first in the nation a uh, tuition free uh, degree program uh, that allows for hundreds of thousands of uh, New York students uh, to um, attend uh, college. And um, what is critical about this opportunity is that it comes at a time when we see the burden, uh, crushing burden, uh, of uh, being able to afford college uh, and also the debt uh, that so many students uh, end up with. And uh, it comes also at a time where increasingly uh, we are need students to uh, into the workforce with uh, a college degree uh, beginning with two years of college and, and beyond. And uh, this, this is uh, now uh, the time for a program like this uh, to sort of change the paradigm. Uh, <clears throat> the majority of our students, 39% attending four-year colleges, uh, complete uh, the course of study and um, I guess the question one of the, the large financial questions that I would have is, is what do we what I'd be worrying about is what do we know about not just providing new support for people that are in the system but the dynamic effect of people that will be joining the system right. uh, particularly coming from privates and you know the author said well you don't really know because we don't we don't really have good data to be able to do this, but you know, nonetheless, we might guess that we'll, that we'll see that people are sensitive to price, and that we'll see increases and we'll see decreases on the private side. If I'm hearing Dr. Linares, I'm hearing him sort of say that there's a, a little bit of a tough love aspect to this from the point of view of the students, but also from the institutions too, that you know, this is a game changer for you. You should be now, you've got to really worry about this because it's up to you to figure out how to make certain that your students do get the degree in, uh, to go through in four years. Is this program targeted <coughs> predominantly toward people graduating from high school, or could people of any age undertaking a first-time baccalaureate degree take advantage of the program? There is no age limit in this program. You could be a grandparent uh, and decide that you want to come back, you want to finish. We want to incentivize um, you know, uh, as many uh, people as possible uh, to uh, get that degree. Uh, and in many cases, it's the first in the family to get the degree. We, we want all to come as long as you meet the criteria that we have.